It's adventure time. Oh. Oh. Look at all that. We're either gonna catch fish or we're gonna get shot. Nice. Whoa, look at that go. Somebody told me there's a lake back here. I, I don't see it, because it looks like there ain't nothing back here. Welcome to Muggy Balls Fishing, guys. I am back out. You guys probably remember Dalton from the like total backwoods mat adventure, dude. Tough day, but we caught some actually pretty good fish and missed a couple giants. But Dalton, once again, has me on kind of a cool backwoods adventure we took some dirt road like six miles long and we're out here on a lake in the middle of central florida that he says is pretty awesome and the water's low and let me tell you something about when the water's low in florida it can mean tough fishing and tough getting around but it usually concentrates fish so you can catch a lot of fish now obviously the cat is out of the bag because there are a lot of boats already out here so people know about this place even though it's kind of back down a dirt road but it's going to be interesting to kind of learn how to fish these guys so we are coming off kind of a front but at the same time we're, we're in like a two or three day warming period usually that means a good bite fish moving into spawn especially in central florida they tend to spawn a little bit earlier so it's going to be like a total exploration of someplace totally new we got the tannic brown water we got a bunch of grass we got low water let's get out and catch some fish right oh be you gotta do yoga before we go fishing right go, oh yes we got Dalton already freaking birds. Don't hide no, that from us. I'm, 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 I'm changing the magnetic settings. Thank you very much. Just remember, anyone that fishes, they're filled with lie and deceit. That's okay. But they're decent people. They're just filled with lies and deceit. All right, guys, before we get this video started, I want to make sure, first of all, that you like and subscribe. Help support these videos. Help support real fishing. I kind of have a template of baits that I'll pull out when I get to a lake like this. This is a classic, you know, Florida swampy tannic kind of brownish water grass oriented lake and there's a few baits that are just kind of standard so let me show you what i got here of course we got a chatter bait with an easy swimmer we have another easy swimmer just naked for kind of buzzing over grass i got a popping frog on right there and then over here i got a little more of like my punching style stuff i got my one and a half in case we find some mats i got a half ounce with a stick bait um that's if we pitch any reeds or any kind of there's a bunch of isolated pads around here that we'll probably pitch a little later in the day as these fish might move to bed you got the same thing right here with a tube bait um this is actually my bed rig this is 20 pound fluorocarbon with a stick bait with a little eighth ounce or a 5 16th ounce tungsten weight right there and then i have a trap now interestingly i have this trap on 15 pound fluorocarbon because there's a lot of submerged grass around here, you can kind of see it on the graph right there popping up. Um, I might go up to braid. It depends how strandy it is. Uh, Dalton, are you throwing braid on that that trap or are you throwing uh, fluorocarbon? Fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon. All right, so he's running fluorocarbon, so it seems like he can get through it. It's it's not super duper thick. He's throwing a chatterbait. So we'll, we'll play around with that, but that's the only kind of variation we might do, but that's kind of my standard grass template Florida fishing approach. Might have to make some tweaks, but that's what I come out here with. This water isn't horrible. It ain't great though. Fish on. Second cast, boy. <laughs> oh, dude, and I just let it freaking sit. Guys, we got our first fish on, um, on a trap. We're actually gonna drop the power poles because sometimes it means there might be a few adult you wanna cast up here. I don't know if this fish is decent. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'll get her, dude. I think. I hope. I, oh, God, we have a problem. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. Dude, straight out ahead in front of the boat. What a nice start. What a nice start. Guys, actually, it's funny. I threw a popping frog on one throw, and then I picked up this trap, and really a trap is like a confidence good water covering bait. Excuse me, Bonk. We'll let her go real quick. That's a solid one. 
but a trap will cover water for you. And we just looked, Dalton was like, hey dude, what's the water temp? And it was 61 degrees, which is pretty darn chilly. And a trap is one of those kind of baits where it's that tight kind of like wobble like that. It's a good cold water bait. You rip it off the grass, you can kind of like suspend it a little, but it's a good bait to fish in cold water when you have these pre spawn fish. Fish on. Guys, we got our second one on a trap here. And we're just rolling, basically we're ripping the trap off of grass. It's another solid one, dude. Probably about three pounds or so, two and three quarter. But we're just using a trap on 15 pound fluorocarbon. And I got a high speed reel too, but I'm not like reeling it super high to speed. And um, just ripping it off the grass. And traditionally I would use braid, it looks like this place for being an adventure kind of in the middle of nowhere gets a little more pressure than I thought and you can't go wrong with fluorocarbon if that cover is open enough to actually be able to fish it. Come here honey. Oh she's solid and she cranked it. Look at that guys. That's how she ate it. Let's say she liked it. Let's get that out of there. Bug stop please. I was gonna say, look at that. There she is. Another solid one though on the trout, guys. Awesome. That's just, dude, there's a bed of grass like up in between them two boats. I was just bringing it across and I thought I was hung in the. Hey, Dalton, I'm kind of putting the heat on you here, dude. I, I don't know. I got I got two fish on a trap, dude. Freaking both slammed in Dalton back here. I think he's working hard on me, too. Hey. Ripping the bait off the grass. Hey, I'll show you the lakes you catch the fish. <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm here for <laughs> these good people so guys we got two fish thus far um we actually got a lot of boats around us we're fishing basically what's offshore strandy hydrilla i'm running a trap Dalton, um dalton's running a classic freaking bait a chatter bait it's caught a bunch of freaking tournament sacks down here but it's a perfect bait for this isolated kind of scattered grass you're running fluorocarbon too right yeah he's running 20 pound i'm running 15 and we're just basically you can watch him right here in the background we're basically doing this ripping the bait off the grass and that that sort of that jerk causes a reaction usually hopefully in the fat in the bass to bite especially with these water temps down in the lower 60s let's keep it going all right don't got fish dude all right i am dropping the pole on that thing feels like he's wrapped around a bunch of grass so i'm just a jackass oh there he is there nice job Dalton. dude it's funny because like we just felt that that grass right there and i'm like dude there's got to be one in there and you you still got that chatterbait on huh mm -hmm. Time. Really? Yeah. Now we're gonna hang out for a second, cause there's so guys. Oh, that's a solid one too, dude. So there's there's a patch of grass out here, and Dalton just ripped his his chatterbait through it, as you can see by the grass on the bait right there. Solid swamp fish. Yep, yeah. she's been caught a couple times. Da oh, Dalton does what I like to do with the chatterbait, dude. A fluke on the back of a chatterbait is the best. That's awesome. Oh. <gasps> I've never seen nothing like that, dude. You can't miss a fish like that. That was dumb. Dude, I've never seen, no I mean, I've seen some big bluffs. I've never seen a swirl like that. Fish on, guys. Took long enough. Got him on a blade bait, dude. We're just flicking it, just nice and slow. Ain't a big one, but dude, she came up and freaking, it's fun catching them like that. <laughs> Worst camera guy ever. Dalton just freaking whacked this one on a weightless. Is that, that's the Magnum or just the standard just stick, bait? stick bait? Just a fat ace, huh? Oh, and you went to a green pumpkin kind of look too. Interesting. Dude, that's a stud. I'm sorry for not getting that on video. He's gonna kill me. Hey, there's one swirling right there. So. And it might be eating my bait. They're out here, dude. Oh my, yeah, there we go. Fish on, guys, and it's a big one. On the top water. Finally, you <laughs> got that foot. <laughs> oh, guys. 
Oh, it's down the grass, down the grass. Dude, I just missed one. And then this one came up and just sucked it under super solid. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Now trying not to get a hook in the freaking hand. How about that, guys? Look, that thing. Dude, she just sucked it under. We gotta drop these power poles. She freaking ate it. Me and Dalton were just talking about how how much of a grind it is, but they're here and we just gotta figure out how to catch them. And we did. Guys, every time I bring this guy or go fishing with him, it's a grind. But let me tell you, it's freaking worth it. We've been on some adventures between the Orange Grove Mat Fest and now we got, oh, it's starting to chop up a little, but look at the rest of this lake, dude. It is flat as a freaking mirror, dude. And when it gets like that in this pre-spawn time, it can be really tough. You're not looking for like crazy wind because it makes it hard to fish, but you need a little chop on the water just to break it up. Let me show you how clear this stuff is. Like, do you see all that hydrilla down there? You can see my power poles down in. It's just really clear and triggering those fish to bite is just very difficult when it's flat conditions like this. And these fish have been through a lot of fronts, but we finally got one. Check this thing out. We're gonna get her released. We caught her on a devil horse. Oh, she's angry too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dude, and there's a fin down in there. You see the fin? She's eating like a brand fat girl. We're gonna let her go real quick. See there? Oh, oh, are you gonna dance? Nope. Just a fat girl. Let me show you this bait that I'm catching them with. So down here in Florida, one of the kind of like old school techniques, other than dragging like a big worm, is this guy right here. It's a prop style bait. Some call it a devil's horse. I think this is what you call a balsa bee. But basically it has those props on it and you fish it so slow, so slow. You just want it to kind of go blub blub, let it sit, blub blub, let it sit. And it's freaking, it drives you nuts. But when you have these flat water conditions and these pre-spawn fish, it can be epic, dude. They won't eat anything else. And especially when you have this scattered grass, it's a little tough to fish a worm and drag a worm, but you can get this thing over the top and just do that blub blub. But we're gonna get back after it. She ate it when I was just sitting there, dude. I don't know. She's running at the boat. Guys, she ate it when it was just like laying there and I freaking didn't even see her sucking under. That's what happens with these kinds of baits. <laughs> that's a solid one. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, she ate it. Look at all that. Dude, I'm talking, I didn't even move the bait and she ate it. Fish up. Frick, clunked it. Guys, we, we've actually, oh, she's peeing. There she was. Guys, we've kind of switched it up. We're getting a little more chop on the water. So at times like that, like usually they bite a little bit better. Hasn't been our experience, but I got out of chatterbait because we're also fishing. This is where the water mixes. You go from hydrilla to kind of like scattered hydrilla and it dirties the water up a little bit. So we're just trying to mix it up a little bit, trying to find that giant bite. There we go. Jeez, she just stopped it, guys. Freaking chatterbait. Right on the grass. I thought I was actually hung on the grass. Oh, dude, it's a good one. It's a good one. Look at Bob. Oh, she just stopped it. Thank God I got, I got kind of like a modern action rod, so it, it, um, it, it bends a lot. <laughs> I'm telling my rod I'm out of control. Oh dear. I thought she was a lot bigger. Hey, check this out, Dalton. Okay, guys, I hope you can see in there. Let me get the light right. You see that little brim or shiner in there? That's the yeah. second one we caught like that, dude. Is that not crazy? Man, I thought she was a lot bigger than that. She is skinny. Nice. Well, homies, that is another day on the water here with Mikey Balls Fishing and my boy Dalton. Thank you for telling us about this place. We kind of knew about it, but we needed like a partner in crime to go hit it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't like and subscribe for me, like and subscribe for this, this animal that I bring with. Hello, animal. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is he doing? Bog, are you comfortable? Bog is epically comfortable.
because we're in such an epic video situation. Key baits for today, prop bait. Um, he's actually fishing it right now, but he's got some grass stuck on it. You don't actually fish it that fast. Basically, what we're doing is we're twitching it, and you, you throw it out there, let it sit, twitch it. You look for kind of like a boil. Dalton just missed one. Day. <laughs> you look for a boil. Let's see that thing real quick. Oh, it's all tangled up. But that's the prop bait that we're throwing. It's a little balsa kind of like custom bait from Tackle Warehouse. And you throw it out there, and you flick it. And you let it pause a whole bunch in between. Other key baits for the day. Uh, let me see if I can dig it up. Red eye shad. We're just ripping it off the grass. 15 pound fluorocarbon. As well as this guy. When we got some chop on the water. Half ounce shatter bait. That's a gambler easy swimmer on there. Killer trailer. And I like mismatching my colors. Black blue skirt. And then a copper field style trailer. Definitely a tough day all in all. But dude it's always fun when you're out here catching fish. Wish we could have caught a jagajukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjukadunjuk